Please consider supporting The Veil via Patreon or our merch store and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Chaz! Hello! Beaten. Uh, what are you doing here? You are lost, Beaten. So lost. I know. Uh, I've lost the building site. I've lost you. I, I don't know what to do. There's nothing you can do, my boy. All you have now is the call center. But I don't want the fucking call center. You're supposed to tell me everything's gonna be okay. Like in that fucking Lion King film. I am only here to tell you the truth. And the truth is, you're fucked. What fucking good are you? You know what? Jockey was right about snakes. All you are are fucking tails with heads. I should have had a fucking dog. Or monkey. How dare you besmirch me? Oh, fuck off. No, you fuck off. <laughs> oh, fuck. Stink. Oh, Mom! Oh, I can feel all wet bits. I am fucking starving. Go down and make me breakfast. Oh, how can a parent be so heartless and disrespectful? That was amazing. Fuck I. Definitely blew away the cobwebs. Right, I best be getting ready. You staying over again tonight? I suppose. Fuck's sake. I've left my work belt. I'm gonna have to phone Barnaby to drop it off from the van. Jock, have you ever thought about... I don't know. Like, moving out of the van and in you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang a whoa now. Where's this coming from? Well, we've been together for ages. All your stuff's you. You even put your favourite painting up the other day. Look, I'm going to be late. I think about it on my way to work. There is a hole where my heart juice we all have it and when it gets too low the anxiety can get too high but not me 
Not my energy juice. I'm full of it. Look at me. Look at how much excess energy juice I'm exuding right now. Come on, shake off the anxiety. As if this has ever worked for anyone. Farouk, will you turn this off now before I get anxiety? So, beaten. To say you were on thin ice would be an understatement, wouldn't it? Oh, I know, but my anxiety just got the better of me. And... You pounced towards me like a madman, and midway through, realising who you were up against, feigned a heart attack. I didn't. It, it was a panic attack. And it was because of my anxiety. Bottom line, you're on a disciplinary stroke final warning. You so much as breathe wrong, and you'll be out the door and down to the doll queue. Oh, come on now, there's no need to be like that, is it? Yo, I'll be very careful if I was you. Thanks, Farouk. Now, Beaton, I do want you out on that floor taking calls, but before you do, I want you to write me a letter of apology. What? Yes, Beaton. Don't you think you owe me one? Sex you up a dick top, you don't stop. Right, Jock? What do you want, you cunt? Blevins, uh, not in today, so just check in. You wanted us to carry on with what me and the boys were doing yesterday. What's up with Bled? Dunno, something with mother. <laughs> He's a proper man, his boy, any. Shut the fuck up, Rib. <laughs> Jocky! Oh, here they are. Your best mates, any Jock? Get fucked, Drist. Oh, he's getting catchy now there, boys. Oh, uh, and, uh, by the way, if, uh, if you want to do something after work, I was, um, I was thinking we could, uh... Pie, getting in now, man! Oh, uh, uh, sorry, Rusty. Right, you pay. Make it quick, because i got things to... What's that about? We're gay! Since when? Since last night. <laughs> Can you imagine our jock? Tell him a story, Guts. Where what it was, was me and Viv planned on having a threesome with this bird I found on shag.co.uk. But when the time came, she didn't show up. I don't think she's coming, Viv. Can you imagine that? She set us up. Can you imagine that? <sighs> Who are we gonna have sex with now? Can you imagine if we just had sex with each other? Can you imagine that? Oh, 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 Sorry, I'm five minutes late. I got stuck in. Oh my actual god. And now we're in love. Can you imagine that? Like, because he douches, it feels more or less the same as a fanny anyway. I'm tight as fuck, see, Jock. Can you imagine that? It looks like a Cadbury's cream egg by the time I'm done with him. How would you, uh, eat yours, Jock? Come on, gutsy poos. Let's go sit in our chair and gay snog each other all day. <sighs> I don't know. They're saying he hasn't been seen or heard from for like three days now. I don't care. But uh, what if he's hurt, though? He's just doing it for attention because he didn't get his way with Kate. Yeah, hopefully. But, uh, you know, on the one hand, I am glad that me and Kate are back together again. Does she know you used to be a couple? Because I didn't. <laughs> no, Deacon, you big silly sausage. As friends. I know I'm not the one for her. Besides, I I think she's still a little hung up on Rich. Zap in, you bell ends. You look a bit gay now, shoot back. Uh, what's, what's going on then? Fuck up, Just. It's not gay. And if you must know, it's because I've just come from a job interview, alright? And where was this job interview? With Big P. He's expanding now, isn't he? He's looking for some new crew at Bill Topway. You know, since I got with Sonia, it struck a chord with me. It's time for you to grow up brain. So from now on, 
I'm a new person. The old childish brainy you once knew is long gone. I'm a brand new person. A new man. Morning. Sorry we're late. Milky had a rough night last night. Didn't you, my love? Uh, uh... Come on now, it's time for class. <coughs> Fine. You can have this last bit of boob milk. Drinky winky woo woo from your mammy's boob boo. I bet you're dying to say something. Go on, brain. I dare you. Imagine living for as long as these people and the most you've ever amounted to is a call taker. To tell you the truth, it's why I find it so hard to have any respect for them. But I have to try. (laughs) Carl, stop immediately! (laughs) I do not recall declaring this address down day. (laughs) Yeah, my my washing machine had a case of the Mondays this morning and conked out. It, It don't matter though. I'm still taking all my calls, and I thought the customers can't see me, can they, so... Oh, oh, and suddenly you're able to make those decisions, are you? Take it off. What? Take it off. This is a flagrant violation of my policies. But I'll have to... I'll only be in my pants. Well, you should have thought of that, shouldn't you? Now get back on the phones! (laughs) How much you done so far? Oh, I've got one bit left now. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. I can't actually believe he's made me write an apology letter. What kind of fucking sick cunt does that? Aye, well that's damn few. You ain't the first and you won't be the last dude. Most of us have had to write an apology letter at some point. I had to write one once because I said I didn't like Mariah Carey. Well, this will have to do. I'm gonna go give this in to him now, and get this all fucking over with. We're gonna have to burn that bin. You're right, Dan. Uh, I've written that letter for you, but here you go. Anyway, um, I better again take some calls, haven't I? So, uh... Hold on a second. Read it to me. What? You heard me. Read it to me. Out loud so I can hear it from you. Uh... <clears throat> uh... Dear Dan... Actually... Hmm. I th- I think you should read this to the entire floor. What? Everyone, everyone! Beaton has something he wants to share with us. D- uh, D- Dan, uh, I-, I don't think I can do this. It- it's not going to be good for my anxiety, like so. If you don't read this, I'll sack you right here and now. Okay, everyone, Beaton here, he's decided to write a formal letter of apology to me for our little office spat a few weeks ago, do you remember? He's just asked if he could read it aloud so you could all hear. So, go on, Beaton. The floor's all yours. Uh, (coughs) Dear Dan, I am writing to you to formally apologise. I was stupid and didn't realise what I was doing. I feel gutted for what I did. And it was not the way a grafter should behave. I asked myself, would Chaz Kroger ever do this? And I don't think he would. Anyway, once again, I'm sorry, Dan, from the bottom of my heart. And I hope one day that we can be friends. Sorry, 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 sorry. And then I I just say sorry a lot more times because I had to fill the page. Pathetic. What kind of spineless lowlife would debase himself to such a sickening display of public groveling? Everyone back to work! That includes you, bitch. I don't know. 
I don't know if we can afford that one. And look at the council tax rates. But it's a nice area. And what if we were wanting to start a family? I know, but still. To be honest, I don't care if it's a one-bedroom flat with a single bed, as long as I got you. Oh, babe. Hang on, whoa, now. You two were on about moving in together, and you only got together last night. Thing is, Jock, we've been together for years. We just didn't realise it. Yeah, when you know, you know. Gotta take chances, see, Jock? Have you ever thought about, I don't know, like moving out of the van and in here? Hang on. Chuggy. He tastes of you. Can you imagine that? You gonna let me have a taste then? Oh, of course I will, babe. Who's a bad little piggy? Oink, oink. I was hoping coming back here wouldn't be as bad, but I'm not being funny, it's fucking worse. I'm still drinking lager from a fucking bag, and Dan is such a fucking cunt. I can't think of a bigger cunt, to be honest. I know a contender. My mother. Oh, well, I, I can't have her at my house anymore, but she's driving me fucking do lolly. Aye, pardon me for saying beat, but your mother is a cunt. Oh, it's fucking terrible, but every day is pain. Like the other day I was in the house, watching this documentary I've been looking forward to. On a very special episode of Phil White Life Stories, we are sitting down to speak to the man, the myth, the legend, Chaz Kroger, from Nickelback. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, Philip. Sorry to interrupt, it's just Phil. The fucking wife of yours haven't cleaned any towels. Oh, Mom! Your, your fucking fanny's hanging out. Oh, this'll have to do. I fucking hate this house, I. Now every time I close my eyes, all I can see is that crinkly old chuff. I just need to fucking sling her out. Inviting her around is the fucking biggest mistake I've ever made. I've just got to look on the bright side. At least I got a roof over my head. That's the only silver line into anything for me right now. Well, you say that, but I haven't even got that anymore. What do you mean? Irish Mal. Managed to sell ours to cash converters. Oh, come on, Alan. Not this again. I told you. Dave wanted to sell his floor. We managed to find a buyer for boat. Ah, you look on the bright side. It brings us all closer together. I spent my half on crystal meth. <sighs> Oh, this makes me want to stab someone while they're sleeping. Oh, I don't know. I just wish Jockey would let me move into his van, I. Sorry, boy. Not to happen. <sighs> I hope I get this job, I. I just keep thinking now, money I get from this, I can use it to wine and dine my son, son. Finally chucking the towel on this fucking shit all as well. Brainy, you're awful on being a drug dealer for Pat. The tightest fucking cunt ever. His name's Big P, not Pat. I will never call him Big P. The only thing big about him is his massive swollen ginger head on that shrunken, malnourished, comic relief body. You're on about making money. You'll end up giving him more than you earn. Fuck off. You're talking as if you know him better than me. You won't be saying all this when I'm minted. You watch now. You're a fucking mong. Anyway, Pokemon Go? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh! I've grown up! Don't go getting sharking me just because you're jealous I've matured and got a job and I'm doing something with my life. You fucking long-haired fucking metal-loving fuck. I'm fucking mature. Fucking responsible and all I like. Oh, brain. Wanna come round mine and try injecting fat into each other's arseholes with a cowboy syringe like that video we learnt about in Horizons? <sighs> yeah, go on then. Have you heard it's amazing? Mm. 
Jockey, my boy! All right, Blath? Absolutely fucking golden. Everything all right with your mother? Oh, yeah. She's dead. What? Aye. Not only has that fucking bat flown the nest, and I mean died, but she's also left me a fuckload of money. I didn't know she was rich. She won the lottery, Jock. And that's how she died, see? We'd never played the lottery. I could keep her away from that as long as I kept her in scratch cards. But she was on the phone to those fucking Welsh utility cunts. Oh, so my meter upgrade is going to happen next week. Aye. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you wouldn't happen to have the winning lottery numbers, would you? <laughs> oh, yeah. They're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, what was that last one again? Nine. What a fucking stupid woman. So, later that night, after she'd bought the ticket... And the bonus ball is... Nine! I won! Oh! Oh my god, I won! I couldn't fucking believe it. First fucking ticket she buys, and 10.2 million quid, man! And you ain't having a fucking penny of it, Blethyn Alphon! This is all for me! Oh! I can't fucking believe it! And after the year I've had, oh! Mommy! I have won the lottery! The Mom. lottery! I have won! Mommy! Oh! 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 I've won! I've won! I've won the fucking thing! I've won the lottery! Oh! 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 Imagine it! My mother is roadkill! And the ticket just lands on my lap. All my Christmases have come at once, Jock. What are you going to do now? What am I going to do? I'm fucking off, boy. Emmerville can lick my paralysed, barely functioning ass. But before I go, Jock, yeah. This is yours now, boy. You are now the official site manager. Fair play. As long as you're sure. What the fuck do I need with this now? I can't even remember what we're fucking building here anymore. Do you want with it, boy? It's all yours. <laughs> money, money, money. It's so funny. In a rich man's world. Okay, and uh, thanks for calling Welsh Utilities. No, I, I I don't have the winning lottery numbers. Oh, fuck me. This is fucking horrendous, Al. Oh, coming back here today is fucking ten times worse than I thought it'd be. Come on, Pat. Only a few hours left. Aye, I know, but I gotta go home and to my fucking mother. And she's gonna fucking tear my head off for no reason. Life is just fucking shit for me at the moment. Calls, people, calls. I want to see all of you booking meter installations. Beaten, why are you in after call rap? Uh, sorry, I I just needed a minute to decompress. Well, I don't pay to decompress, do I? So make yourself available immediately! Yes, Dan. Yes, what? <sighs> yes, sir. Thank you. You fucking piece of fucking shit. I fucking... Welsh Utilities, what do you want? Dad? No, Beat. It's me, Jockey. Oh, hey, Jockey, right, but... I've got some good news. Oh, I... 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 Is that a fact? Oh, really? Beat! Dan's gonna go spare if he sees you away from your desk. Not as spared as I am. Oh, Farouk, you big Arabic tiger. You're so Herculean and mighty. You make me feel so safe. Oh, for Christ's sake, beaten! Get back to your seat immediately! Beaten! Get back to your seat immediately! Oh, quick, Farouk! Protect me! I can see the rage in his eyes! Oi, you want to relax yourself, you? Oi, me and you are going to have some serious issues if you don't. 
Oh shit, is that the time? Right, I'm out of here, bitches. What? Yeah, 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 that's me done. My shift is over. See ya. Farouk, g get back here now, please! When the working day is done, Farouk just wants to have fun. Be beaten, please, no, please. Let's not get hasty and commit a sackable offence. I have had a fucking guts full of you. Ah. Have a bit of this, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you are, boy! Here's my fucking P45! Crivins, what the fuck? Blevins just retired and made jockey site manager. Does that mean it means we can kiss this fucking shit all goodbye? Yay! Come on, boy. Definitely heard that there are Pikachus and cowboy hats and hoot hoots around you sometimes. That's what it says in the Facebook group anyway. I've been playing this game for ages now, and I've still not seen these fucking owl Pokemon. Don't worry, you will. You've just got to be patient with Pokemon Go. <laughs> oh, you. What are you smirking at? Oh, nothing. It's just Kate. You finally convinced her to touch your willy, have you? Deacon, that's disgusting. And no, we're just friends now. That ship has long sailed. And to tell you the truth, I couldn't be happier. Oh, oh my god! Uh, oh, it's Rich! Who's Rich? Him, there! I've never seen that person in my entire life. Yeah, you have. It's Rich. He used to go with Kate, uh, and he went to our college. <sighs> you know, the he's the one that beat me up. And then I beat him up back and felt really guilty about it. It's the entire reason I'm in Horizons. It's why I got kicked out of college. How can you not remember this? I thought you were there for the money. Don't you ever listen to anything I say? Not really, no. Ah, <sighs> look at what his life's become. He's sweeping here. Okay, whatever. You carry on pontificating by there. I'm off to finally catch one of these owl poker men. Oh, Mom, how is there so much hair here? It's never ending. <sighs> I had to do an all over on Sherry Bennett. I've never seen hair on the soles of someone's feet before. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, Rich. T Tony? Catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. Pokemon. Ah, oh, about fucking time. Like trying to catch Bigfoot, one of these. <laughs> I am such a brilliant presenter. <laughs> oh, Ben. <laughs> Sandra, where's my tea? 
here you go. Ah, what do you want? Out. What did you just say? I said out now. I don't know the fuck you think you were talking to. I'm not going anywhere. You'll have to make me. Fuck off, you wrinkly, saggy, old fucking cunt. What did you say? I said off, what? you fuck! <laughs> I'll see you at Christmas! Oh, Sandra, everything's gonna be okay. I I finally got my job at the building site back. Blevins retired and made jockey site manager. Well done, Beaton. Oh, I'm so fucking happy, I. I'm gonna go grab my high vis. And, as a bonus, now you can finally get back to what you were doing before she moved in. It's fucking all sunshine and rainbows, babe. Never made it as a wise man. Couldn't get it as a poor man stealing. And now, we return to footage of real mass shootings. Oh my god! All the kids are dead! Alright, Trace, uh, can I have, uh, Brazilian wax, please? No problem, babe. Come on, I'll take you over now. We'll get you settled in. So, um, what happened with, like, college and stuff? Uh, it's not for me anymore. Plus, I can't show my face around this since I got beat up by, well, no offence, you. Oh, no, none taken. But what about your friends and the rugby team? What, Greg and all that? Uh, none of them talk to me. Plus, Greg just borrows of Blaine now. He's the new artist boy in the college, so, you know, it's just how it goes in a natural order. The only one I ever see now is Coach Nails. He comes round once a week to have a wash, cut and blow dry done. But that's a bit annoying because that's all he does is constantly ask me what happened and who was behind me leaving the uh, rugby team. But it was me. I, I beat you up. He saw it happen. No, 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 no. He's been working on this huge conspiracy theory thing about it all. It, it does my head and I. End of the day, it was all Greg behind it. He did those tape recordings and shit stirred the entire thing. But I just, I just want to put it all behind me and just let it die now. To tell you the God's honest truth, Ton, the only one I really care about and the only one I really truly miss, to be honest, is Kate. But she hates me now anyway, so there's no point getting into it. Rich, uh, I'm just going to come out and say it. I am really sorry about, like, what happened. No, 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 Tony. You don't need to apologise, but it was me that started it. Remember, I, I come up to you when I bapped you out first. I got what I deserved. But Rich, you're sweeping up discarded hair from Eberville women. No one deserves this. I, it's not that bad, you. Oh, Rich, there you are. Quick, I just did a Brazilian wax on Mrs. Williams, and one of her fanny flaps just ripped off and flew off down behind the sinks. And you need to help me fish it out quick. The hospital have to throw it back on. Uh, I best get to it, but... But anyway, Torn, thanks for popping round, but it's nice to know there's no bad blood. Maybe I'll see you around, innit? Yeah, maybe. I'll say hello. Oh, and, uh, before I go, uh, just to let you know, I've, um, I've been speaking to Kate again lately. I think you should message her. Really? Yeah. She talks about you sometimes. I think she'd like it. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you later. Oh my god, Rich, quick, is jumping around like a little goldfish! Fucking right. I'm so happy I could fucking cry, I. Aye, fair play, Jock. And congrats on the promotion. Cheers, boys. So what's going to happen now, then, Jock? You're not going to become an absolute cunt now you're a manager. I might fuck. As long as I've got a tinny and Gutsy and Viv are out of my way, I'll be happy. What do you do then? Sack them? No, not that arse. Let's just say I moved them to a different department. I just said to her, love... You looked alright in your Tinder pic, 
but in real life, you're a fucking size of an house. You fat fuck. <laughs> you're a fucking prick, you are it. Aye. <laughs> yeah, we all are, though. <laughs> all right, Joe. What are you doing in you? Well, as Blethen's retired and made Jockey the main site manager. He's promoted us as your supervisors. Can you imagine that? Aye. Us five. Day in, day out, forever. Can you imagine that? It's like we have our own little family. Oh, 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 We're gay. No! This would be a perfect day if I wasn't living with Irish Mal. How bad is it? Aye. You could say that. We can't use the toilet at the moment because he's flushed his dead dog down there. So we've had to share a bag for life. And I'll be a funny. It's a bit like living in Bosnia. Chin up, pal. Have these. What's this? It's for the van. Move in whenever you want. What about you? I've told Pauline I'm moving in with her. What, you've finally taken the plunge, have you? Yeah, well, it makes sense. Plus she's pregnant. Fucking hell, Jock. Congratulations. How far gone is she? About five, six, seven, eight months. I have asked for a DNA test because I can't see a resemblance. Kept that quiet, bud. Well, you never asked. You fuckers are always going on about yourselves. Hiya, jock boy. I'm off. Going to live off your millions, is it, Bled? Aye. First things first, though. I'm off to Venezuela. To do something I'd be wanting to do for years. What's that then? They do revolutionary paralyzed spine reversal surgery. I'm not going to be an old crippled cunt anymore. But anyway, Jock, it's been emotional. Beating an Alan. You can both suck my cock. Here we are, back where we belong then. Well done, my child. Thanks, Chaz. Anyway, boys, should we get back to work or what? <laughs> Fuck I. Hey, Tony! Oh, uh, uh, hey Sophie. You alright? Oh, I was just watching TV, so just wanted to get out and about. How have you been since the other day? You feeling better now? Oh, feeling better? What? When you were upset in Horizons about that boy going out with your ex. Oh, uh, oh, she wasn't my ex. Yeah, she was just a friend. It, it was just one of those things. I'm all good now, though. Oh, that's good. So, um, wh- what were you watching? What? On TV before you came out. Oh, um... I was re-watching this series called Cyber City 080808. You've probably never heard of it. Yeah, it, you, you like anime? Yeah, I love it. Huh. Uh, isn't that like the OVA by the guy who did um, Wicked City and Ninja Scroll? Yeah, Yoshiaki Kawajiri. Oh wow, you know his name. So, so uh, uh, what other animes do you like? Have you ever seen Bobo Bobo Bobo? Huh. Oh my god, I love Bobo Bobo Bobo. Uh, at the moment, I've been re-watching uh, Love Hina and Sailor Moon Sailor Stars. I've heard of them, but I've never seen them. Oh, they're amazing. Love Hina is like my favourite ever romance anime. Have you ever seen Tenchi Moyu? <laughs> yeah, Tenchi is amazing. I think my favourite anime ever is Trigun. Oh, that, that's just that to go who we go! Fucking tits I am, boy. Ah, oh, 
Fuck me. So, uh, you enjoyed that, did you? Oh, I just gushed up my arse and I felt like three ten bags at once. Oh, you got to have a go at that, just. Oh. So to clarify, you just willingly injected amphetamine into your arsehole. Aye. So you, Mr. Finley Breen, admit to it. Fucking hell, Josh. You just fucking watched me do it, you fucking dull cunt. Of course I did. Well, that's all I need. That's a go, boys. Code red, code red. Send them in, send them in. <laughs> just, what the fuck's happening? What's this? You, lovely boy, are nicked. What the... What the fuck? I didn't do it. Get him out of my sight. Justin, you can't do this. This is not right. You fucking sneaky cunt, I. Justin! Oh, it's not Justin. It's Justice. He's been working on this huge conspiracy theory thing about it all. It, it does my head in eye. End of the day, it was all Greg behind it. He did those tape recordings and shit stirred the entire thing. But I just I just want to put it all behind me and just let it die now. To tell you the God's honest truth, Ton, the only one I really cared about and the only one I really truly miss. <laughs> Good night, my sweet prince. Ah, ah there's boys in the corner. What I'm about to do to you, I haven't done for 21 years. I'm gonna enjoy this. Fuck me, Doc. You performed a miracle here. I've been dreaming of getting out of that fucking wheelchair for decades now, and you've finally made it a reality. I'm so happy, I could almost cry. Gracias. It's been my pleasure, Senor Bladon. Just remember to apply this ointment twice a day to prevent infection, and no hot baths for two weeks. Doc, I'm more than happy to comply. <laughs> Beep, beep, able-bodied person coming through. <laughs> <laughs>